Hey you guys, we are back to do another review of 90 Day Fiance, so stay tuned for more. We keep it real. Hey guys, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back, Koei FM. Welcome back to another video of Courtney and Eddie. I'm Eddie, aka E Doug. This is my lovely wife. Courtney, also known as Coco. This right here is Courtney and Eddie. This channel is all about relationships, it's all about reviews, it's all about entertainment. And tonight, we're going to be talking about, once again, 90 Day Fiance with the same people. Same storylines, same channel, same universe, same, channel, same, same planet, okay. same dimension. You got it. You get it? Got it. Got it. In fact, we're going to do a kind of two in one. So uh, so if this, is your, if this is your first time joining and you hadn't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you're watching us on uh, Nowhere Else, because I ain't putting in Nowhere Else, then just get it. It is what it is. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. So. Again, we did not do one last week. We were so busy and did not feel like being drained with two hours of nothing. So we decided to put it all in this one. I'm going to start calling our day fiance the black hole because it's just a big hole of nothingness. Mm -hmm. Nothingness. Absolutely nothing. It sucks you in and it don't spit you out because it's nothing to spit out. It just sucks you in for no reason whatsoever because it's nothing there. Same people. And I'm just getting a little bit more irritated because after you see all this, what they go through, and you look on social media, what's the purpose in all that screaming and fussing and all that? Yeah, like they living their best life. Right. So All of them living their best life. Right. I be on an Instagram, I ain't even trying to look for them, and they all love the everybody. hugged up. I said, hold up, why you hugged up with him? I thought you was done. He stole your piece, and you was done with him. But now you hugged up. I was like, oh, man, what up? So let's get into Andre and Elizabeth, your favorite couple. Why are they still there? What is the purpose? I just. Let me just run through this. Run through it. I'm talking about run. I think. Like Forrest Gump fast. That's how I mean. So, um, so they, of course, you know, they finna tell their family they pregnant, so they're gonna go to the Grand Canyon, and so they're gonna hold up these signs, and he trying to speak in his language, and she gonna speak in her language, and they fussing on who gonna, and she fussing about the writing of the signs. This from last week. Um, and so anyway, going forward, they get to the Grand Canyon and they hold up the signs because his dad is there, her dad is there, and the dad, her dad having trouble reading because he don't understand the language, his language. But anyway, so um, yeah, he finally figured out and he said, okay, so you're pregnant, so y'all can have a baby. Cool, I'm so happy. Um, and so anyway, um, the issue is that, that now they're about to post it on social media without telling her mom and her siblings. And so the dad just saying, listen, y'all gonna need some therapy, family going to therapy, because this right here is not healthy. You need to tell your mama and your siblings that you're pregnant. So she's like, mm -mm, Andre don't want me to do it. We're not gonna do it because there ain't nobody getting along. Yeah. Is no, it? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Done. All right. So let's move on to your other favorite couple, Ooh. Mike and Angela. Hold on. Not the ones we saw on social media at Walmart hugged up with one another. Not that, not that they Michael. Were and, they were just grocery shopping. Well, it regards to the point, he was still <laughs> together. Not that Michael and Angela. Not mm -hmm. that one. The one that, not the Angela said, ah, I'm tired of you. Ah, you can still on my feet. Not that Angela. Oh, man. It can't be that Angela. Yep, the one with the wrinkle. Not that Angela. The one that's trying to twerk with that the twerk. <laughs> <laughs> that Angela, yeah, that one. So, yeah, the one she's trying to twerk with nothing to twerk. Yeah, when she put the outfit on, like two episodes ago. Oh, episodes yeah. Ago. So, that one. Yeah. So, 
Renee sitting down with Michael. Now, Renee must have said, I'm going to find me a Nigerian since I'm here because Renee done look like she done upped up her, her yeah, little look and stuff. I, I did see that. Yeah. I noticed that too. I thought, okay, I trying to get part of the show, Renee. Yeah. So, anyway, so Renee said, you know, she talking to Mike and she sit him down and stuff like that. So, she really, truly, she thought everything was just on Michael, but she found out that Angela got some stuff mixed up in there too. It ain't just Michael fault. So Angela come busting in. What y'all doing in here? So what? I guess Renee said, listen, I ain't trying to take your man, but we I'm just trying to talk to him, just figure out, so see what y'all got going on and stuff like that. You lied, Michael, you lied. You said you were going to take down the Instagram. We done been on how many episodes and we still talking uh, about the Instagram? I think it's been like, what, 12 episodes. They talking about, they keep talking about this song on Instagram. Yeah. They just be taken down. Michael, just take the Instagram down. Bro, let's take it down. Michael, I'm tired of it. I'm Michael, tired of it. Micah said, she said, you lied because you really just went and got my goodies. Which they probably was just not good or something. Maybe mm. she probably owed him this to that. I don't know. Nah, she had some work done. She could have had some work done on her goodies too, man. She probably got that thing rejuvenated. It's going to sound like bees. Yeah. <laughs> and so anyway, so she said, you know, um, so yeah, you lied to me. You said you're gonna take it down, and then we ended up making love and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, then, she called it making no, love. I don't think she said I'm just oh. using it. And then it ended up, then when I do finish and stuff like that, you was like, Listen, I got it right. I ain't gonna take down the Instagram. So I feel like you lied to me. And then anyway, next scene. Um, Angela and Michael is somewhat because you know she be I'm packing, I'm leaving. She's I just want to talk packed. to you. You I'm know what? And I leave. I just want to talk to you. What? Let me talk to you. You know what? What you want, Michael? I need to get Angela to pack my clothes. She's a good packer. Man. Baby, she be she, packed. She She's an expert, leaving. boy. She so, so she um she said, Michael, I know you got a friend, and she said that a friend of hers took a screenshot. A Michael come having a, a conversation with some chick in the comments because he blocked her. So she knows she got eye spies. So she got spies and stuff looking at and finding out that he's still talking to somebody. So uh anyway, um Angela said that she you knows she packing, she leaving, yeah. she got the closure she need. Then Michael called David, we need to talk. We need to talk, baby. I need you to meet me at the restaurant. I, I need to talk to you, baby. I need you to calm down. We need to sit down and talk about this. <laughs> I'm just going to go see you again today. <laughs> Let me see you again today. So, <laughs> you all right, baby? We need to talk. Let's talk. Take that down, my guy. I tell you. I tell you, take that down. I said, why is she getting this man's face, man? But they met at the restaurant. And Michael said, you know what? I'm going to take the Instagram down. I'm going to take it down. You can see she wanted to smile. She had to die. And I said, okay, the man going to take the Instagram down. Well, that wasn't good enough for her. Oh, no. That wasn't good enough for her. Yeah. They didn't see your phone. Michael said, hold up, now. Pop your break. I don't say I'm going to take the Instagram down. Now you want to see my phone? Yeah, I don't trust you. I don't trust you. And Michael, doing what every man in the world would do, Try to stall for some time so he can delete. The- <laughs> That's what he was doing. <laughs> he was stalling so he can every delete. Every man in the world. Every man in the world, man. Including you. Man, I was back in my day. <laughs> so I, didn't, I didn't see. I didn't delete. I didn't throw the whole phone away. Yeah, you told me that. <laughs> I didn't throw the whole phone away, man. I, what? You want to see my phone? I put it on the table and smash. Boom! Can't see it now. But yeah, so he gave her the phone and she strolled through. I guess he, she saw that name. Why did that name stand out to her? It was her name too, wasn't it? Like yeah, Angela, it was. Angela, yeah, Angela. Yeah. It was something like yeah, that. Yeah, you stood out to her. Who is this, Michael? Who is this? And Michael said, uh, 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 nobody. <laughs> nobody. Stop it. You ain't got to do this. I'm going to call. You know what? When, he, when she said, I'm going to call that no, I, I, at that moment, I saw Michael's spirit leave his body. <laughs> <laughs> God, that's the worst thing to do. That can happen to a dude if a woman called knowing that he's trying to hire from her, man. So, I bet it goes. Oh, Michael. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't know who this woman is. Ooh, Michael. You doing too much. You doing too much. Hello. 
You do. Oh, is it? You know this Michael Weiss. You know what you doing to my husband's phone? We just friends. We just school together. What? Click. <laughs> <laughs> that lady said, listen, I ain't got to have this drama to y'all. It's not paying me. That fool on TV with y'all. So anyway, so yeah, the girl hang up. And so, yeah, she got in her feelings. And um, then, yeah, she got in the field. And Michael said, see, you know, oh, let's stop this. We, I love you, baby. Because she was about to cry. I don't like seeing you cry. Yeah. Let me say, okay, let me see this, Michael. Michael didn't really care nothing about the Angela crying. Why and you call me Michael? No, no, I didn't call you. Michael. You said, let me say this, Michael. I said, let me say this. And then, Michael? No, I didn't call you Michael. I was saying, let me say this. Michael didn't really, oh, I ran it together. Okay. Michael didn't really care about Angela crying. Only when Renee said, You see your wife over there crying? You ain't even going to console her. I said, That's oh, when right, Michael, okay. Okay. that's but, when he started. Well, regardless of the point, he said, Baby, it's going to be all right. And she starts smiling. Hold on, because God. <laughs> God I said, hey, You put God, you forgot the first, man. I'm sorry, man. God, I just got through eating, man. Through eating. All right, go ahead, man. So, so yeah, uh, you know, she started crying. You know, Mike said, you know, he was consoling. That's what she said. I don't want for some for him to console me and touch me and rub me and just be there for me. And she saw her smiling, and she said, uh, "Michael said, where are you gonna go? Uh, I'm gonna go to the room." Then she asked Michael, "Are you going home? Or you come to the room?" And what Michael said. That's, you shouldn't have asked that question. Yeah, I yeah. Said, Ooh, go get them goodies, Michael. Go she, get them goodies. <laughs> and get it in, baby. <laughs> Go get them goods, man. That's it. Devil Day is good. Yeah, I guess. Uh, they riding spoil. It's got flour all on it. Mm. All right, so got to say them for last. Got to say them for last. Oh. Let's go on, on to this doggone Balada Sheeta. Sheeta, Shida, Shida, whatever the child name is. I just want to be on TV, honey. Uh, anyway, because what? I was right, right? No what? Then she just doing it for a storyline. Then that what you said. Oh, you was right, baby. I see it now. Oh, yeah. You was right, man. Because even I, me, the one who was kind of pulling for Shida, is getting tired of Shida. Yep. I'm getting tired of her in the same old storyline. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Then you turn around, you see her on social media, you're living her best life. Right. Like, Hold up now. I thought you were being stressed over this baby. You up there clicking and clacking. On oh, every social media. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, every social media. Yeah, you ain't, you're not stressing too much. You then. and Bilal up there cooking. So I guess he said, listen, baby, we're going to make this money, honey. We're going to make this money. See, that's the problem with Nine Day Fiance. They don't have control over the people on the show. They allow these people to go on social media, yep. basically basically give the story Bilal, away. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Because now you know. Oh man, ain't nothing wrong with them, man. Yeah. So why are they on the show fronting like that? Yeah. You know? She ain't pregnant now. She ain't yeah, had no baby. I mean, she ain't like stressing over because she ain't you know, she ain't mad right. now. Yeah. Because she ain't pregnant. Um, so basically she get her employment card and everything. And so Bilal said, Well, listen, because she was like, I need my bill. She he said, Well, listen, you gotta do this, you gotta do that, you can't do this, you gotta do that. You can't just tell me you're going to get a bill. Well, now you don't want me to work. First it was this, now it was that. So Excuse me. Now she's saying, "Oh, you just basically procrastinating." So he sent her to uh, uh one of his friends, a couple of his friends that are realtors, and let her look at this old dried up building. And she's like, "Mm mm, it's too doing this all that." So he's just basically trying to stall her. So in the next episode, um, Bilal won't. I mean, Shida won't Bilal to meet her friend in New York that we seen one time on the Facetime, and we did not. So if this girl was so concerned about you, your friend, why she ain't come down here when you got married? Why she ain't come down here any other time? But now y'all need a storyline, so we'll just go to New York. Exactly, that's what it is. We need a storyline. A storyline the original has starting to wear out. Need to do something different. You gotta do something else. Let's go to New York and pull this new friend in. Cause to me, she's a new friend and uh, a crazy new friend. Cause she got issues, man. Yeah. She needs to find her man. Yeah. So they say, oh, now today, okay, we need to know everything y'all do. Okay, so now we'll just go and get our friend. We'll go to New York and visit her because we ain't never been. So they up there sightseeing and stuff like that. They both excited about New York. So when their friend come out to dinner. Come to dinner. She's sitting up here trying to greet Gria Bilal, 
about well what you I, well, I need to talk to you separately because i need to know what's your intentions and what you got for my yeah, i'm yeah. like girl they married what are you talking about i think she was crushing on Bilal, to be honest with you you do yeah but she was looking at Bilal. i think she was crushing on Bilal. i think she probably kind of jealous of uh shot because she has Bilal. and because ain't no woman gonna st- come out like that and the way she was looking it's like she was staring Bilal down man like she was looking all kind of crazy and stuff. I said, huh, maybe she likes Bilal. Maybe she wants Bilal. I don't know, but regardless to the point, she needs to get a man because the way she was acting, man, like, geez, yeah. what kind of friend is that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But first of all, you ain't been having no friend, no separate conversation with my friend. <laughs> yeah, and that's another like, thing. And that's another reason why I said well, what I said. You're not I need to have a conversation one on one with you. What kind of separate conversation? Right. Just you and him? Yeah. Why? And <clears throat> Bilal was getting small with her. She was getting small back. And then she, the way she came was real strong. Mm-hmm. And he started getting strong back. And then she was like, I don't understand why Bilal's, what his issue was, his problem and stuff like that. I was like, girl, you came out the gate wrong. What you thought you were going to do? No, no, I'm team Bilal with this one here. Man. I ain't going to lie, man. Girl, she was wrong, wrong, wrong. And Shyla should have stepped in and said, hold up. You going to talk to my husband? Right. Separately, right? No, I know we know. I know we're supposed to be friends, but no, no we don't get down like that, baby. We ain't gonna roll like that. And then he said, "Why well, I need to talk to you? I don't talk to her mom. I don't talk to. I don't sit down with her dad. I don't sit down with her folks. Why well, need to talk to you for yeah, a like friend?" Like I said, you know, <laughs> this is between me and my wife. Yeah, you're not my wife. Hmm. Anyway, child, that was awkward, and they don't want to see it again. But I guess they're gonna show something to finish it. But anyway, they just needed a more show of a line. scene to go there. So. Over there, skip their butt right on off the show. So anyway, Jova and Yara. Now, this I think was a real scene, and it really made me mad. Okay. All right, just this stage. So basically, this chick is trying to get an apartment without her husband, and that old rackly mama is really in her ear saying, "Listen, you need to get an apartment because you meet people unpredictable. You don't know, honey." And she done gave us scenarios and stories and everything that scared the poor girl about her own husband. Now, me personally, don't think you need to make no financial move like that without your husband knowing. Agreed. Number one, and number two, why would you do that? Okay, case scenario. If your man was out there cheating and doing some things like that, and you were like, you know what? I'm going to eventually leave this dude. Let me prepare myself because I'm not going to deal with this. That's one. But you just newly married. Y'all got a child. And you think that you're going to sit up here and have another apartment in a whole other country without your husband knowing about it. And then the fact, anyway. So let me say this. Let me say this part too, baby. So she went and um, got her husband, all this stuff or whatever. They went and looked at this old raggedy apartment that was 150000 And so she was like, ooh. Because he was like, you ain't going to get nothing nice for that. And she was like, ugh. It got holes in the wall. It got all this stuff or whatever. So she was like, wow. Mama's like, mm, I thought you were going to find something a little bit bigger than this. We need room for me when I come over and stuff like that. So she was asking later, well, can we get one with three bedrooms? How much they going to cost? She was like, basically in U.S. money, 300 some thousand dollars She's like, ooh, that's double. Listen, Mama, you need to be paying for it. Go ahead, baby. It seems like so name Yara. Yara. She to me, she's trying to find a back door to lead job. In my opinion, she's gonna listen to her mom, and she's she's missing her friends. She she's missing her home country, and now she's back over there. She feel like feels like it's home. Yep. And she don't want to go back to America. But what's so sad about it? Like you said, they just got married. And they have they have a small child together. It's not fair to Jari. Oh, Jovi. Jovi. Yeah, it's not fair to Jovi. Yeah, I showed him did. You know, it's not fair to Jovi. So I understand why Jovi is getting upset about the situation. You know what I'm saying? Don't go behind my back and I'm your husband. Let us together figure something out and make a decision on this. You listen to your mama. You get the third part in, in, in our marriage now. So you're leaning towards your mom. Lean, you know, listen to your mom more. And now she's in your ear. Now she's trying to destroy the marriage. Definitely. So you, your mom, so concerned about me leaving? No, what she's doing? She's trying to get in your head to make you leave me before anything was to happen. Right. So you know. Yeah, exactly. Before anything. Yeah. Now it's one thing if 
You say, mama, he ain't treat me right, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. And y'all setting up stuff, but she putting stuff in your head, you know, off of scenarios, off of what her husband did Right, that's what I'm saying. She's projecting stuff on you, what happened to her. Now she's scaring you. Now you, you know, you reacting to, you know, to what she's saying. Now you're going to mess up your own marriage, listen to your mom. Now, you know, you're going to give up the struggling because, you know, it's, it's, you know, that's it's gonna be a mess. Um. So anyway, they get back to the room. Joe because his mom was like, "Listen, mom, let me tell you what they trying to do." Mom was like, "What? I knew that was going to yeah, happen. I told say, you that girl ain't gonna want to leave." She and so he was like, that. "Uh, no, Joe, you can't. Don't don't let them be over there get an apartment. Don't let them. You know what I'm saying? Do all this stuff, or whatever." So, so. Mom, Joby mom said that before they left uh, on that plane. She said she has a a bad feeling that Javi's gonna give over there. And don't want to come back. Mm -hmm. That yo Yara. Yara. I said Java again. <laughs> I don't know what you say. Java. Yeah, Java. Java the hood. <laughs> <laughs> Yara. Yeah. Um. So anyway. Um. So the the next scene or the next episode or whatever. So um. The friend come. Yeah, uh, Joey's friend. I yeah. think he's military. He, he look. He looks like he's military, especially being over there. I could be totally wrong but that's what it seems like oh yeah that wanted to say this part so yara said some way far-fetched when she was talking to joe because joe was like listen i talked to my mama i told my mama what was going on and stuff like that and then she and she was like well jovi anything can happen you know you like the strip club you could go to the strip club find your stripper y'all take all the money and go to the bahamas i was like who, who what what so anyway, so she feel like that something like that could happen, and so uh, yeah, go ahead and talk about the next. Hold on, I'm sorry. So now Java he meets his friend over there. You know his friend that's his travel buddy from you know from back in the day. So so Java got his friend with him, and Yara has her mom. So it's two on two now. So mm -hmm. so now Yara, I mean. Mo well, Jovi feels more confident with his friend being there because now he has backup. Mm -hmm. You know so. Uh, so his friend, he sits down with uh, Yara, using him, his friend, and Yara sitting there. So they drinking and they going back and forth. And and uh, uh, Joby's friend said, so you the one that took my homeboy away from me. You the one that got him on lockdown because he got married. You know what I'm saying? So she said, yeah. And he said, y'all, you know, she asked him, y'all used to go around the strip clubs and drink a lot. And he said, yeah, that's my strip club buddy, basically, you know, because, you know, he likes the strip club, you know what I'm saying? He likes to drink. So that's a big turnoff to Yara, you know what I'm saying? So she don't like that. So she now do she, like to drink. Yeah. So she now she don't like his friend. So She ain't like the friend when he walked up. Right, exactly. So now Yara yeah. says she wants to go to Germany, right, to see her friend. I think so. Yeah, wants to go to Germany. So she wants her, uh, uh Jovi and her mom go to Germany to see a friend. So Jovi said, okay, cool, bet. Can my friend come along? And she said, this is not a road trip. This is not a party <laughs> road trip. This is something serious because, you know, what's going on over here. And I'm just trying to go down and comfort my friend. He said, well, I get that, but I would like to have somebody I can kind of get along and that, that understands me and whatnot. I want to bring my friend with me. I'm telling you, this is not a drinking party road trip. And she said, I guess she got she gave up. What do you want to do? Then Joe looked at the friend, all right, buddy, we're going to Germany. And gave each other a high five. And I think the, did the friend tried to get her a high five or something like that. I don't think so. Oh, okay. She like she just think tasted. Yeah, so she was she she didn't Because like one it. thing about it and I she think it's like unfair it. is that that Jovi, I mean not Jovi, Yara and her mama always speaking in their language, mm. all around Jovi, talking about him. He don't know what's going all on. All that stuff, whatever. And then um, and then when they go to Germany or wherever they're going, they still gonna be talking in her language. So he was like, I need somebody that I can talk to. Right. Because they ain't gonna have nobody to talk to except for her. Oh, yes. Plus, you know, him and his friends, they have history, they go back, that's his buddy. So he he's gonna be with somebody he's real familiar with. Yeah. And he's gonna be real comfortable with. It. So yeah, I think it's you know, it's nothing wrong with his friend going, you know what I'm saying? You got your mama. You 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 and your mama out there sneaking around trying to get apartments right. and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Why did you let this man sneak around, go to a couple of strip clubs while you over there? And so anyway, let's move on to next big Ed and Liz. <laughs> 
this was a cringing scene to watch but anyway so they doing um they did say that they going to therapy and um they trying to work on their intimacy and stuff like that so what they decided to do is he bought a massage table um she come out there with her lebron panties on and get and he get her a massage he come out there the next one he come out there look like he was butt naked and um she gave him a massage and um then it led to other stuff that was basically it you so know? basically oh, yeah. then she um ripped that hair off of his back and he was she gave him a wax oh, you know wax yeah. back or whatever so he so was basically of start off as a massage but ended up as the uchi coochie pretty much okay you know um and then so once again we need some more episodes to throw in here. So it's like, uh, um, so what I'm thinking about is that um, we what go happened? and visit my family. I forgot what state they was in, in another state. So she feels some type of way because she know how the rest of his family feel about her. So he was like, well, they didn't, you know, different or whatever they said. Anyway, honey, what they talking about. So let's move on to Jen and Summit. Summit. Uh, Jen and Summit. Okay. Uh, Jenny had to go to the doctor because she fell and hurt her arm as she was say. Well, they was up there trying to do all the little yeah, I think it was trying to chemistry. I think they was trying to do a certain position. Yep. And her hip fell out of place. Then her arm fell out of place. They got the hip back in place, but they couldn't get the arm back in place, so they had to go to the doctor. And then Samit said, oh, that's why I get from marrying this old woman because yeah. she can't do all the kinky right. stuff. Yeah, brittle bones. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so after they left the doctor, what not, uh, Jenny's daughter and her, uh, her husband, uh, her wife, yeah. how, 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 her, wife. her wife came with over to see Jenny over there in India, and basically she looks like a husband, but she's a wife. Yeah, so basically, you know, you know, Jenny's daughter was telling Smith, you know, yeah, you need to stand up for your family because my mom feel like she's alone over here. And you need to be more, you know, be more there for my mom. I understand how your family feels, but you know, my mom feels like she's all by herself. So Smith gets you know, gets in his in his confession saying, She don't know what she's talking about. Family's over here is totally different. So she needs to stay in her place. Basically, that's what he was saying. He was, he was saying, telling in his confession, he was saying that Jenna's daughter needs to stay in her place because she don't know what she's talking about when it comes to the family. And that was that. All right, let's get on to the last and final. I got two pages for this one. <coughs> Kim and Uzman. Mm-hmm. This really should have been their show, honey. Yeah, I, I, even with them, all that rigmarole, and it still ended up. Yeah. All right, so let's just go through it. Usman is going to find um his wife. So his mom said, I don't care nothing about that lady coming over here, nothing like that. Um, you really and truly you still gotta find this wife, this first no, wife. No, no, no. She found the wife for yeah, him. She did. She said, I'm gonna find you a wife. She went through the jungle, cutting down vine. Where you at? I gotta find you. Oh, and, said, yeah, and Kim was like, listen, I feel some type of way and stuff like that, because I know that uh <clears throat> She, she said, because I know that your mama just really, truly, you know, still in limbo about me. So, Kim pulls out a ring, you know, talk to the camera people. I'm going to do this tonight. I'm going to do this, you know, whatever. I said, oh, so, Kim said that um, she bought two rings. She's not sure which one going to fit. So, she wants to pretty much propose to him. And uh, she kind of want to seal the deal. And she want to do it before he meet this other girl. So, Uzman come in, you know, after he was gone somewhere or whatever, and she set up everything, the little flowers, the candles, the whole shebang, right? And so, uh, um, she get on one knee nut, uh, and she said, listen, will you marry me? He said, yes, I will marry you, Kimberly, because this is so sweet and so nice. So, he put on the finger, and she pretty much said, listen, I'm trying to seal the deal. I know you finna still going on over here, but what you trying to, you want to say something? I'm taking too long. No, no, right. I'm thinking about Kimbo Lee. Why are you so desperate? Why? Mm-hmm. You, you, you get down on one knee for a man. A man. Not just a man. A man that's going to get another wife. <laughs> yeah, on his way. And you think because you get down on one knee, it's going to keep this man for marrying this other woman, seeing this other woman. 
Yep, because she said, now, after I done did this, do your best to talk to your mama to say, listen, I want to be the first wife. <sighs> I want to be the first wife. Man, even you saying that don't even sound right. I want to be the first wife. I want to be the first wife. That doesn't sound right at all, man. Now, you can say, I want to be your wife. Excuse me, but I'm gonna, I want to be your first wife. Come on, man. Oh, man, get ready to go. Uh, he said, uh, he's like, okay, yeah, all right, do something. Let me go see my Right, even though, because she couldn't believe he still was going to go after all of that and stuff. So, you know, he getting ready, and he said, I look. I look good. <laughs> I look fly. <laughs> That's sad. It is. He's asking you how he looks for another woman. Yep. After you just proposed to him. That should that should sink in. That should sink in, sink in your brain. Say, huh. I feel crazy now because this man's asking me how does he look to go see another woman. Yeah. And he happily go out the door and she said, bye, I hope she ugly. And as soon as he probably soon probably soon as he walked out that door, he took that ring off. Oh yeah. Put it in his pocket. Yeah. 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 Yep. So um anyway, Kim said, you know what? I'ma call my son. You too late. Honey, you should have called him a whole bunch of episodes ago. But she said, I need to call him and talk to him and fill him in on what's going on. So she get him on the phone. Yeah. She started to tear up a little bit because it's a familiar face. But Jamal was like, Mom. You want to hear for it at all. What the heck you doing getting over there acting like that? He said, man. But I'm glad you told me kind of look at that part. Jamal said, if this man is supposed to love his mom, he's supposed to do it. anything his mom says. But he's deceiving his own mom by still trying to be with you. So if he's going to deceive his mom that's that he adores, you know what I'm saying? Because he even said he look at, at his mom like a god, you know what I'm saying? So if, if he's willing to deceive his own mother, who says he's not going to deceive, deceive you? And she said, you know that little meme, that guy leans back that little meme, that little gif? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, she said, oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, light bulb came on. You're right. Mm-hmm. And then it said, and mama, you sent up there letting this man do to you what dad did to you. You didn't accept that. I mean, I guess you did for a while, but, you know, so she just like, she can't see nothing that's going on. Uzma got her blinded by the light. So, yeah. Uh, so, anyway, so he, she said he made a good point. I wonder what it is. I guess. But Uzma, mm -hmm. and she's a, she's a, uh, I guess she was a big fan. Okay. And he was a rapper. Is it the sick, the yummy? What they call the it? The yummy, the yummy, the yummy, the yummy. So he get in over there and he sit on the couch and the two mamas talking. Ooh, well, they like, said, let us, let us it? leave, honey. Let them be alone. And they panned the camera up and they saw the girl. Wow, she looks gorgeous, she's, man. And they. Farida, Farida, Farida. I, I was like, ooh, ooh. She's oh. so pretty, and she looked like a little delicate flower. Yeah, I'm like a princess. Yeah. Then I said, like, ooh. Now you put her picture up against Here go Kimberly. Kimberly. Yeah, and you got the princess in the. No. <laughs> <laughs> I miss, I miss, I miss. So, um, so Uzman, um. Yeah, Uzma mama want, you know, them to, you know, for this to be the first wife, you know, because she said, you know, she young, she 18, you know, she can have kids and stuff like that, you know, so. Yeah. And she was a fan of Uzma called Uzma said, you know me? She well, said, how he was looking though in the chair though? Like a big kid. Yeah. He was looking. Yeah, he looked down. Oh, uh, yeah. And then he look up like, look. look I was like, I was like. You talk all that. I don't know more rap in the world. You you end up looking at what? Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, so they talk, and you can talk about what they were talking about. The Basically, uh, the mom. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Let me go ahead. Oh just no, the conversation. They no, were he was just saying he asked the uh, asked the young lady, "Do you know who I am?" She said, "Yeah, I follow you. I listen to some of your music and everything." She said, "I like you know, you know your music and everything." He said, "Okay." Then he asked her. He said. Now, you know I'm seeing somebody else. And she's like, yeah, your mom told me, but your mom always also told me that I'm supposed to be the, the first the first wife. She said it? Yeah, she did. Know, we yeah. reading them things. I'm reading them. And, uh, Uzma said, and that's why he kind of took his hat back. Like, yeah, but, you know, I'm in love with somebody else. 
And she said, well, and she didn't back down. She said, I, I know, but I saw you the first wife. I said, ooh, there goes that black girl. <laughs> 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 so he said, put your number in here. We can talk more freely. But, but no, the question, the thing was is that he said, well, you know, would you be okay with being the second wife? No, she said, no. She said, no. No, she the said, first. no. The first. <laughs> the first. That's, that's why I said the black came out of that. Oh, yeah. Then, she was like, no. No, the first. <laughs> And, yep. and she's 18. She can bear she can bear kids and stuff. And, Perfect. She's right. so cute. And like then you got Kimberly over here, honey. And like her mom says she wanted her to date somebody older that's well established, that's not into what she said. Drugs Ooh. and all that type of stuff. Yeah. That live that's living a good life. Yeah. And so that's why she wants her to marry Uzma. But Uzma said he wants Kimberly. He really comes in the United States. That's all that is. That's <laughs> yeah. all it is. Um, so anyway, um the mom asks I think the mom asks how it go. He said he said, Well, I still want Kimberly. Basically. So Cam said, um, so he come back, he said, How was she? You know, how did it go? Um, he said, Well, you know Was she, she pretty? Knows. Was she pretty? Yeah. She was all right. <laughs> <laughs> she said she ain't ugly, you know. And um, so she said, um, she said, oh, I see that I proposed to you and you ain't wearing your ring. Damn, mm -hmm. man, he said, he, you know, he, he, he couldn't say that after that. He said, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. He said, and he, I think in the confessional, he said he ain't wearing, he ain't want no drama. Yeah, you which know? I think was a smart thing to do, in yeah. my opinion. Um, anyway, so the mom wants to uh, meet with Kimberly, and um, who's the brother that came? Was it Muhammad? I forget his brother. Uh, anyway, the bro was there, the, the, yeah. the mean one, the mean one. Yeah, so he came, and you know, Kim had to get all her stuff together and stuff like that. Oh, she wanted to meet with him. I said, why they got an envelope? They trying to deport Kimberly? <laughs> <laughs> give her give her some papers to, to get deported or something. So they sit up there and they got an agreement that they came up with. Mm -hmm. Kim like, oh my gosh, an agreement. So they read the agreement and basically they said, listen, if you can be the first wife, we approve, but he still got to get married and have kids with the second wife. And uh, and you got to make sure that my my son comes to the United. I mean, comes back home. Yeah, like for don't every just, three months. Yeah, yeah, don't just keep him over there. Then he come back home and stuff like that. So Kim like, oh yes, I can see. Yeah, yeah. that means you got the blessing. You got my blessing. Oh, she go over there, hug the mom, and then say, oh, you look shorter than me. Then I said, oh Kim, shut up now. Yeah, shut they, up. You already got the blessing. Now you gonna offend the woman? Yeah. No, the woman after you. I'm, I'm what? I'm sure. Okay, grab that paper. <laughs> Tell the paper up. Now take that. Bring that eighteen year old girl back out. <laughs> So anyway, that's pretty much it, y'all. I am over this season, super duper over it. Yeah, I got over this season when you told me what was going on on social media. Oh yeah, they when all I was seeing all media. that on social media, I said, "Man, this show really doesn't have any consequences." Mm -mm. You know, they talk all that noise on this show. I'm done. You hate me. I hate you. Yada yada yada. Then later on on social media, you see them all hugged up in lovey dovey. Yeah. So, Somebody seen Micah and Angela in Walmart when they took a picture. Yeah. So I was like, man, so all that noise y'all talking throughout the show doesn't mean anything? Yeah, it's anything? Just a, it's just an act. I feel like, I feel like it's a far, far and in between. It's not that many couples on here that are really sincere about whatever story yeah. they got going on. They just wanted another season to get on the show. And yeah. they just doing anything to fill in those moments because, to be honest, what they had to say, it wasn't a whole, whatever, 20 episodes or whatever they right. give, 15 episodes. It was just one or two. Yeah, <laughs> and, and we getting it drug out. out. And with, with Angela and, and Michael and Shyla and Bilal, like I said, Shyla, she's on social media all Live her best life, but on the show, she all distressed about well, trying to have a child. Every, every, you know what I'm saying? Every 30 seconds, right. what a child, what a child. What so, a yeah, child. I'm saying, are these storylines genuine mm -hmm. or are these put on? Yeah. You know because to be honest, <clears throat> okay, a storyline, yeah, I want to have a child. But am I going to ask my husband about a child every episode? No. Practically, no. If it happens, it happens, right? Right. And, um, yeah, so it was just, oh, we got to go to fertility doctor. 
Oh, we got to go to New York so my friend can talk about us having a child. It was just, it's redundant. It's it just no lifetime, sense. lifetime, lifetime. No, TFC, baby. Sorry. Ooh, Ooh, I'm sorry. Lifetime, <laughs> don't put that, put that abomination on us. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, TLC. We got our own problems, lifetime. Oh, yeah. TLC, I know there's there's other people out there that's willing to be on this show. Why continue to recycle the same people? Yeah. You know, give us some fresh meat. You know, I just cause this right here is getting redundant, it's getting tiring, and people just getting tired. Even on the pillow talk, they leave the show and get on the pillow talk. I don't even want to see them on the pillow talk either. No, oh, definitely not Angela and Mike. Man. Definitely not shot in Bilal. Come on, <laughs> no. man. No. TLC. Tender love and care, honey. T ball, love eye, and chili. Come <laughs> on, man. <laughs> Y'all got to do better, you man. Do. do better, you man. Do. You know, geez. Come come down to uh, Alabama, do a nine day fiance. Oh, you can go anywhere, but find a couple in, in the South, like in Alabama, or Mississippi. And I'm talking about go to the hood and find your hood dude, a hood girl, and have them get on the show. You want some drama? You want some action? You have more than somebody running down the alley like Mike. <laughs> All right, you guys, on that note, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. As we say at the end of every video, don't forget to go God and let God go with you. I was put God first. Deuces. Hey!